to my channel welcome or welcome back so today we are doing a pick a card reading so we have a b and c right um for pile a it's this pink scrunchie with gold um so before we go and get started the question is what are their current feelings okay and then we have this strawberry like yellow scrunchie which is super cute i love it and then last but not least we have for pile c <clears throat> which are pile number three, we have this blue scrunchie with stars on them. So go ahead and pick your pile. And if you want to skip to the pile that you want, the time stops are down below. So if with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, Hello, pile A, if you picked this pink scrunchie, all right? So this is super cute. Um, <laughs> I love scrunchies, you guys. Okay, so for pile B, I mean A, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this over here. We're going to put that right here on this side. And we're going to set these messages to the side. Um, all right, so right now we want to know what's going on with um, pile A's person's current feelings. What are their current current feelings spirit what are pile a's current feelings what are their person's current feelings what can we tell pile a what can we tell pile a Ooh. all right so we have the three of pentacles the page of cups the five of wands the king of pentacles Ooh, and the Knight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five. Ooh, we have the Lover's card. Okay, I like this. All right. So, from what I can see, um, your person right now, they, <laughs> they really like the embodiment of, like, how can I say this? They really, really like have like a, a sense of like dominance over you, but not in the case where like they want to completely be like narcissistic, but I'm, I'm feeling like they just want that passion. Like, like they want, um, how can I say this? Like they want, they want like that bond between you guys and, and they really want to make sure, make sure that you know, that they know that you know that they're that you are there is pretty much and like this person I feel like um if you guys haven't been like you know physically together I feel like this person really thinks about you like a lot and they kind of like give you like the side eye of like they're they're watching you and stuff um but I really don't feel like uh, a lot of you have been together like as far as like intimately if you have this person is like really wild and and they really like to dominate you in the bedroom I'm um, not necessarily um but they just like to know that you're theirs and I feel like you kind of you like that as well um here with the three of pentacles this is telling me where there's kind of like that warmth that passion right your person has that passion for you as well as the king of pentacles this is showing a sense of like fear because like if you um it's kind of like it's like if they're you know feminine <laughs> they like your masculinity okay and then if vice versa you like their masculinity they like to be kind of like reassured um so there's about there's that thing and I feel like they kind of get like all like a little bit like loopy as well. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, not loopy, but they get kind of wild. Here with the page of cups, this is showing me um, where your person uh, with the chalices, obviously, um, it, this is like where they're a bit naive. Um, they can be kind of like. Mm, they're kind of be the type of jealous person. That's why they like to dominate you so much. And then here we have the five of wands. Um, this is also telling us like they like to watch you, obviously, right? We told you that. <laughs> obviously, we. I like how I said we. And then here with the knight of swords. Oh, man. He's very like he um he's like to he likes to embrace you a lot and he likes to like you know uh, he likes the PDA too if you guys um are around each other like that and then obviously here with the bottom of the deck obviously the lovers card this is where it comes in with seduction right um red is very like powerful for you guys so let's see what the oracles have to say. 
Okay, so Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. So I feel like this person can learn a lot from you and you have taught this person a lot or, or it's vice versa. I feel also that you guys can teach one another a lot as far as like, you know, relationship wise. Um, if you guys do want to go in like further like into a relationship, okay. Ooh, okay. So protection. This is also giving me like call back your power, cut the cords and soul retrieval. I feel like it's not the same like relationship if you guys were to ever get in a relationship together. I feel like it's it won't be the same like how it was before you guys were in a relationship or like a friendship. I feel like you guys have had a friendship for some of you and there's always been that kind of like what if, what if kind of feeling. And I feel like your person really does like feel at home with you, okay? Um now we also have one more out here Mintaken. okay so longing for home belonging the original light workers all right pile a i really do feel like this person feels at home with you um or like they feel safe in your arms or you feel safe in their arms but there's that sense of like familiarity okay and now let's get the witch's oracle out here boundaries okay so this is giving me like um a strong very like a uh, a breakthrough right clarity and this is like a sharp mind so i feel like your person is really um knowing what they want from you or knowing what they want with you as far as that goes and with that being said it's kind of like they have that type of like breakthrough with you ever since they met you it's like oh, okay like this is this is like for sure my person right that's for some of you on the passion right now they don't feel the passion it could be because you guys are like a bit not like um how can I say this like you guys aren't paying attention as much as you did before to them I feel like um maybe they think the passion is gone maybe you guys were just like flirting a little or even with that like your person definitely does want to have that passion back because they feel like you're at home they get a little jealous if you're like around whatever like whoever you may be and it's just like oh uh, like pile a needs to like relax on that right <laughs> all right so then we have timeless okay so it's tiktok so 30 could mean of great significance so it's all in divine timing right um i feel like this person's very like passionate and but they're very patient with you and i feel like that's what you've taught them uh patience right so yeah there's that Ooh, okay, and then there's not for you in the reverse. I feel like this person it really does think that you're their person, okay? Um, your person thinks that you're their person, um, but it might be six might mean of great significance for you. It's kind of like, how can I say this? Like they've I feel like for some of you, you guys have rejected this person just because it wasn't like the right time at the, you know, it's like the right person, wrong time. Uh, but this person won't give up at all because they have like this like sense of like, I feel at home with you. All right. And then we have two yin energy. I feel like this person is definitely calling you in pile A because of the fact that they're just hanging in or you will, you are in this yin energy and they feel like they are drawn to you very heavily, right? Um, and then we also have... Um we have seven, which mean, could mean of great significance to you, obviously, um, to the sea. This is kind of like going with the flow. Your person um, would like to um, take initiative, take charge in like what you guys are together. Um, but definitely like you want them to like be be pretty like optimistic, right? Oh, look, stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance all right so with that being said i feel like you're personally definitely definitely thinks that you're their person 100 percent. and i feel there could be like some twin flame vibes but this person definitely does get a little jealous even though they might not tell you they definitely get jealous when they see you with other people i'm just saying just saying you guys all right so let's see your card to close your reading off so this is healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light 
feel your relationship being healed this very moment. It could be that this is why you guys took like a break or that you guys are kind of like slowing things down, right? Or that you kind of like want to work your work on yourself or you want to work on something. But this person is like definitely, definitely like keeping an eye on you. Um, with that being said, because I have the watching the watching card here. And um definitely, definitely you want to keep an eye out for this person because they're definitely keeping an eye out you on you because they want to take the next step, whatever it may be with you. All right. Okay, pal. Hey, this has been your reading for what are their current feelings. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Or pile B, you have chosen the yellow scrunchie with the strawberries. I feel like your person is like very vibrant and I feel like your person really likes that you're super sweet and you're like very kind almost to this, the point where they think you're just like a ray of sunshine. So this is like what I'm getting, right? We're going to put these to the side. First, we're going to take out some tarot. All right, so spirit. What are Pile B's person's current feelings right now? Pile B's current feelings. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. Ooh. <laughs> the Four of Swords is like that type of, like... Okay. We have the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands. Ooh. What are their person's current feeling spirit? So we also have the Six of Cups and then the King of Wands. And then at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. All right. Ooh, look at that. Three of Cups. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Pile B. So what I do see here, it's kind of like this person is very touchy that could be like one of their love languages and they just like to embrace you a lot they love 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 your hugs um if you guys aren't like you know intimate like that yet or like you're pretty close they would like to just hug you like that would mean the world to them basically and what i'm also getting here pile b is that like <sighs> Your person might seem like they're, like, total, like, not, like, the most PDA, but they, they love kissing you. They like your lips. They, they love showing you pictures. They love taking pictures of you guys, like, um, actually kissing, or they would like to take pictures of you guys kissing. This person can't stop looking at you. If you look at every one of these pictures, this, the, the masculine is embracing the feminine, okay? Or they also like that you, if you're a male looking at a female, they like that you are very like into PDA, all right? That kind of like, you know, challenges them, puts them out of their kind of like comfort zone. So here with the Four of Swords, we are looking at, um, <laughs> we're looking at kind of like, you know, they like to touch themselves. They like it when like, you know, you you embrace them. You like, it's that passion. They, they love when you guys just touch. Like I'm saying like this legit, if you guys can, this person's, love love language is touch this is the very first one and i feel like they, it can be fulfilled by you because they like it when you touch them or they like it when you let them touch you just like even touching your leg like your lips your your like face it's kind of like that that type of stuff here with the seven of cups we also or chalices we see like a flight for fancy like this person really admires you like i said they can't get their hands off of you with the nine of cups we also have like a euphoria like this person gets lost like in your energy like they just just even talking to you guys I'm for some of you guys who are like intimate like you know and um so after you guys like get intimate with one another I feel like they just like talking or they would like to do that um with the sex of the sex <laughs> the six of cups I also see where's like memories like I said this person likes to present a lot of photos of you guys like kissing embracing one another when you guys are out and about with the seven of wands this is showing me with the seven of wands this is also showing me like tenderness right this person can be tired but they always have like that time for like warm embrace their feelings are that they just they just can't get their eyes off of you they can't stop touching you they are like absolutely just eu euphoric in in your like 
in your energy. With the King of Wands, this also does show me where they embrace very closely to you. Like I said, all these pictures, all these cards, they show like a warm embrace. Like I said, like this person can get their, their hands off of you and they just feel like so comfortable, like so warm, so, so loving. And they want to give that back to you. Here, it's also like with the tenderness, right? And they like to watch you undress. Like if you guys are together in a relationship this is what they like like you don't even have to be um sexual with them it's just like you can take off your clothes and they'll think that's like the most beautiful thing in the world all right so let's get some messages okay all right, so we have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So this person likes that you take action all the time or they're planning to take action in your relationship or they're planning to take action towards you, okay? Take however it resonates. We also have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So this also tells me that they like that you stand out. This is why they seem so captivated by you, Pile B, because they absolutely adore door that you don't fit that cookie cutter type of like person and this is why they're just like they just can't stop you know looking at you I feel like this person has great admiration for you as well as if you guys are in a relationship they really respect you and that's so so important you guys in a relationship Okay, we also have releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. I feel like this person, like, or you, they, you guys didn't have, you know, that great of a past as relationships, but it's like these patterns are being broken. Does that make sense? And I feel like you guys had to go through, like, a lot of turmoil, trials, and tribulations in order for you guys to come together, or you guys will be coming together. Um, if, if that, you know, proceeds, you know, by all means, that's great, right? Okay, and then we also have... We have message in a bottle. So this is kind of this person's going to be sending you a message pretty soon or they just absolutely like talking to you basically. And I feel like they give you like little hints here and there. They really like you or they want to take like your guys' relationship to the next step. I feel like this person doesn't really like see anybody else because they hold you in such high regards and they almost put you like on a pedestal. Okay. So also let's see for... um. 18 could mean of great significance. This is serendipity, okay? This is opportunity for readiness. Like I said, this person definitely wants to take the next step or take action towards you, right? Or if you guys are together in a relationship um, and they're just waiting on you basically, okay? So we have 34. This could mean of great significance for you guys as well. The numbers, um, look up the numbers if you guys can. There's th these angel numbers, I feel. Um, like five one three four and then we'll do the last one okay so a leg up okay receiving help so like i said this person likes that you stand out and you're a very helpful person they like that you absolutely like not saying you go out of your way to like you know you care for people and this is why they like being around you this is why they can't stop looking at you i mean they won't really necessarily tell you but they'll like show you they'll like feel they'll show you with touch because of course that's their love language okay and now here we have um chop wood right um so being grounded in like everyday experiences i feel like you help this person help your person actually like you know stay grounded because i feel like they could have lost their way sometimes they'll feel like they lost their way but it's just like it's not that type of like how can I say this? It, it, it's not with you because I feel like they feel solid. Like they feel like they can conquer the world when they're around you. Okay, let's get some witches oracles out here. So we see hex banishment. Um, This is kind of like, how can I say this? Like a lot of people might not want you guys together and they might not, they might know that, but that doesn't like that doesn't stop them. Does that make sense? It could have been like they were in a bad relationship. They might have some baggage that they're working on, but they have you and they know that you, they're like, they don't feel judged around you. That's why they're so tender. They, they want to be like tender. And they, if they haven't done that, they want to be like super tender around you. So remembrance, this person definitely does think that you are their person. If they're spiritual, they definitely think that you're their like soulmate. You guys definitely have had some type of like relationship in the past. Okay. 
and then here we go retreat so it's time to disconnect from the world this your person would like to take like some t sort of like little travel like get a, a b and b and go out into like the woods go hiking like or just you know spend the day together and, away from like work away from like the hustle and bustle like this is what they want to do like they really would like to treat you um so tenderly basically is what i'm getting okay so when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, so this person wants to create a lot of memories with you and they want to like live like in those type of memories with you forever or take them, you know, to the next pretty much the next phase in life basically. Um this person does see you as their person if they haven't done so already. They they might be thinking about it. That's why they might be taking like some sort of action towards you. But I definitely do feel like a lot of tenderness, a lot of touching, you know, a lot of embrace. They want to treat you like, you know, I'm not saying you're delicate pile B, but they want to treat you so like delicate delicately because although you are a strong person, they just want to like, I don't know, embrace you. Like that's what I'm getting. All right, pile B if you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, pile number, pile number, pile C. If you chose this blue scrunchie with cute golden stars on them, this is your pile. I'm going to go ahead and set these to the side. First, I want to get your tarot in. Okay? So what is Pile C's person's current feelings? What is Pile C's current feelings? Please, Spirit. Pile C's current feelings. All right. That was quick. This person is very quick to respond, by the way. So we have the Judgment. We have Emperor. We have the Queen of Swords. Four of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Pentacles. And then we have the Two of Swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords okay pile c so what we have here is kind of like the ooh, like i feel like there's a bit of a conflict at times um you guys are very like headstrong this person definitely if you guys don't have a family already they definitely see you guys having a family like together i also feel like this person definitely definitely has like had their fair share of like ugly relationships like <laughs> that's all that's what I'm getting this person definitely likes to um how can I say this they like to uh blah, 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 um, they like to caress you a lot they like to be very sensual they even think like putting like your shoes on you know seeing you get dressed or undressed like that's very like sensual do you see this and um like I said this person definitely does keep an eye on you as far as because they they really like are protective of you they're not like domineering or anything like that but I do feel like this person like praises you a lot how can I say this like I forget the word it'll come to me so here with the judgment card <clears throat> I do see here that there is like love at first sight okay this person definitely definitely like you know <laughs> if they haven't told you already um they definitely could see like a family with you okay they wanted that bond right away with you here with the emperor we also see here where it's the 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 vitality right the magic they think that you're an embodiment of a goddess basically or a god um and they like that you possess a lot of the traits and characteristics that they seek in a partner and as far as like you know for the rest of their life here with the queen of swords <clears throat> With the Queen of Swords, I also do see where your person has, like, you know, would like to either be tamed or they definitely do see themselves settling down with you if they haven't done so already or if they haven't told you. With the Eight of Swords, I also do see here where there's, like, um, a sense of, like, scratching, right? They That sense of, like, um, kind of, like, oh, like, I just can't get... I just can't get enough of you type of thing. With the Two of Swords, I also do see... Um, intuiting right with it which is kind of like like i said that embrace like anything to be sensual with you right that you 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 take you bring out the sensuality in them like very like 
super soft the softness if this person male or female if they're like super like rugged and they're like tough you bring out the softness in them and that's what they like with four of wands here your person also sees or they like to play with you a lot right they're very like eh, um how can i say this they they like to like tease you um as as far as like flirtiness goes and they just like oh man like they just oh they like i said again with like the scratching and like like kind of like you know when a cat kind of like wants to call to you like hey you know pay attention to me <laughs> stuff like that right we also have here the queen of pentacles um this is giving me like where there's um cohesiveness like they're they're like cooing and awing they're like oh man like this person could have you know the they could have like that type of like um and like embracing like uh, of being kind of very like attentive to you and they want they want to show you that more here with the five of uh swords i do see here where there's a bit of guilt right um something probably could have happened they want to tell you something or they just don't know how to tell you um so you want to keep an eye out for that it's good for them to be very um realistic with you right all right, so we have inner temple. And I can't read that shit upside down. My bad, you guys. Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Okay, so like I said, oh yeah, devoted. They're very devoted to you. They have like that passion. That's why they're like, they like touching you. They like playing with you. They It was like pretty much love at first sight. Even if this person has not told you that or you might think that, okay? All right, so Starseed, what lights you up? They feel like you are very, like, a big healer. They feel like they've known you. They feel like you're a very old soul, and they could feel that a lot. They feel like they can also, like, learn from you, or, you know, they would like to teach you as well, and I feel like you guys can grow together, and this is, like, this is what they, like, actually, like, desire from you as far as if you guys are going to go in a relationship if they do choose that. Okay, and then I see share your voice this person definitely likes talking to you like your person loves talking to you and they love hearing you talk they feel like you're a visionary right um come out of the cave persecution and expression this person could be like a slight introvert and you kind of like are an omnivert for some of you or even extroverts right and this person like i feel like your person's a complete introvert but they need to, they can talk whenever they have to but as far as like if it were up to them they would like just not talk to anybody at all so we have here no place like home right authenticity they like that you're very genuine this is why they stick around you this is why they are so tentative at listening to you at listening to whatever you say because they love your voice i feel like your voices for some of you are like they're very angelic right um 50 and 46 could mean of great significance so we also have like regeneration, right? Like rebirth. I feel like this person, for some of you, not everybody for who chose this pile are going to have like a reconciliation with this person or you guys have had a reconciliation, but this person would like to take like the next step in whatever you guys is like situation is or relationship. Okay. Let's get some witches oracles out here. So tarot cards, um, <laughs> either this person knows that you do like read or they know that you watch a lot of tarot readings and that kind of like sparks an interest, um, but they really don't really care. Uh, it just isn't like, I mean, I feel like they just um they wouldn't go off of like what the tarot says um but they definitely do know that you are doing this and that's kind of like it sparked an interest but um yeah they definitely do think that you are powerful <laughs> for some of you guys they might think that you guys are kind of like into like the cult <laughs> so i don't know maybe it might be it, it could be like that's what they're like they have they're guilty of like that they know or that you might know that they know so love yourself first okay so your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive because you prioritize yourself this is what entices this person to prioritize you does that make sense so like however you love yourself however you like treat yourself that's how others are going to like treat you so however you treat yourself it's projected on how others are going to treat you and i feel this is why this person is so like devoted to you all right so i feel like this is like a soulmate like a twin flame type of like thing you know like this person might have known you all right so trust transformation occurs 
through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. All right, Pile C. So yeah, this person definitely trusts you. Um, They want to uh, earn your trust if they haven't already. And they definitely do want to take that next step in whatever your guys' situation is. All right, Pile C. If you like this reading, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you like this reading. All right, don't forget to stay positive. Be positive. You are positive. Bye.